people will disagree on priority setting in health. The question is, how can we include the interests of all people in the society or in a population into the decision making? The question is, first, why do we need a fair process? It's important because we need to include the views of those who will be affected by the health spending decisions. Also, we need to provide legitimacy and trust to the decisions and the decision making process. Also, there will be trade offs between saving, for example, many lives versus few lives. And value trade offs like this should be informed by public views and reasonableness. Fourth, Fair process is also important because it can create social learning in societies. Transparency will increase uh, the possibility that citizens will learn from these difficult decisions. There will be disagreements on the evidence uh, supporting the decisions. There will be disagreements on what indicators to choose and what kind of analysis that should uh, underpin decisions that are being made. There will be disagreements on what, what principles and criteria we will use and also the relative weight to these criteria in the decisions. Accountability for reasonableness uh, is the most well-known uh, uh, framework for fair and legitimate uh, process. Uh, Norma Daniels and James Sabin uh, published their book Setting Limits Fairly and uh, described uh, conditions for a fair process. And four uh, conditions were highlighted to be important and the minimal criteria for a fair process. First, there should be publicity about about both the decisions and the rationale behind these decisions. This is difficult because the most common uh, priority setting mechanism in all healthcare systems, I would claim, is implicit rationing, saying no, maybe without even being aware that it's a rationing decision. So it's a simple but very challenging uh, condition. The second uh, condition by Daniels and Sabin is the relevance condition. Decisions should be made on what fair-minded people see as relevant. Third condition is that decisions should, uh, there should be mechanisms for revising and appealing to the decisions and the rationales behind the decisions. And the fourth condition is that there needs to be institutions in place so that you can enforce the process for priority setting. Recently, the World Bank uh, uh, launched the report Fair Process for fi Financing Universal Health Coverage and tried to specify these principles and uh, uh, discussed the alternative and maybe more concrete principles. And here you see that equality, impartiality and consistency over time were considered to be core principles. In addition, uh, information, voice and oversight was important. So this is an attempt to specify the accountability for reasonableness. Building on priority setting work in Zanzibar and elsewhere, Umar Molim uh, and other uh, colleagues uh, tested and developed a more concrete 10 step approach to how you can set priorities when you work on a national health benefit package. Uh, the 10 steps were divided into four phases, the planning phase, the criteria and intervention phase, the financing phase, the analysis and priority setting phase, and the implementation and monitoring phase. However, important across all the steps uh, uh, from this uh, work, uh, Molim et al. argued that three principles should apply in all steps 
but they look different. It's important to involve all relevant key stakeholders, and you may need to involve different stakeholders when you are doing technical analysis compared to when you're deciding criteria for selecting interventions. The second principle is transparency about decisions and the rationale and the development process. And transparency may look different uh, in the different steps. Third, deliberation is important for all 10 steps. And by deliberation, uh, Molim argues that this is thoughtful examination of different perspectives, arguments, and information to arrive at the well-informed decisions. So it means an open mind curiosity to what is at stake here, what principles are at conflict, what evidence should we give priority to. Thank you very much. I am Shalana Johansson and I'm a professor at Bergen Center for Ethics and Priority Setting and also a medical doctor specialist in addiction medicine working at Haukeland University Hospital. Thank you.